and you can see that there are some bulges, they are called the gyrus, and there are some valleys, they are called the sulcus. Gyri is the plural, and sulci is the plural. And uh, gyrus is the singular, and sulcus is the singular. So gyri and sulci. And um, there are different lobes in the brain. This is the frontal lobe, corresponding to the frontal bone. This is the parietal lobe, corresponding to the parietal bone, occipital lobe, temporal lobe, and this is the cerebellum. Okay. So the brain has got uh, the, the, the lobes, it has got the cerebellum, and the brain also has got a brain stem. So the brain stem is what we see here. This is the brain stem. Brain stem has got uh, midbrain, uh, pons, and medulla oblongata. Those are the three parts of the uh, brain stem. Let's go to this model here. So here, this model shows a sagittal, sorry, sagittal section of the brain. And um, the sagittal section is, uh, which means it's cut like this. And um, you can see that there is a white area here. This is a connection between the left and the right. This is called the corpus callosum. And here you can see the, the lateral ventricle. Talking about the vent lateral ventricle, I want to quickly show you the ventricles of the brain. So this will be the ventricles of the brain here. You can see the lateral ventricle here. That's what we saw there, the lateral ventricle. Lateral ventricle moves into the third ventricle and third ventricle moves into the fourth ventricle. So this is the lateral ventricle, third ventricle, fourth ventricle. Connecting the third ventricle and the fourth ventricle is the cerebral aqueduct. So that's the cerebral aqueduct. So coming back to the brain model, so this is the, where the lateral ventricle is, and there is a membrane on top of it in the midline, uh, because the lateral ventricle is on both sides. So in the middle, this part is called the septum callosidum. This is called the corpus callosum. And here you have the fornix, okay? Below the fornix, you have the ependymal cell, which produces the CSF, that's called the choroid plexus. Over here, you have the thalamus. Thalamus is one of the most important sensory relay stations of the brain, and that's the thalamus. Below the thalamus, you have the hypothalamus. Below the hypothalamus, you have the pituitary gland. Anteriorly, you have an anterior fornix, uh, uh, sorry, anterior commissure, and over here, you have a posterior commissure. These are the attachment points. In the, behind the thalamus here, you have the pineal gland, and over here, you have the uh, colicles. There's a superior colicle, there's an inferior colicle. And these, these parts are very important for the, uh, the auditory reflex and for the visual reflex, which means if you, if you hear a gunshot, you, did you do you turn the head? Yes. Why? Because of this colicles. Okay. Same thing, if you see a flash of light, you certainly look there, right? That is because of these columns. So the auditory re reflex, which is the sound, and the visual reflex, which is the flash of light, that is due to the superior and inferior colicles. Okay. Then behind the, um, then you, this part here is called the brainstem. It's got three parts. There is a midbrain, there is a pons that looks like a beer belly, and over here you have the uh, medulla oblongata. Okay. So that's the brainstem. And uh, between, uh, behind the brainstem, you have this thing called the cerebellum, which is very important for your balance. So the cerebellum has got uh, gray matter and white matter, but there is a big difference. If you look at it, the white matter looks like a tree. Okay. The, so this looks like a tree, and uh, you can see the tree with the branches, and that is called arbor vitae which is also called the tree of life. So arbor vitae is the white matter, and then you have the gray matter on the outside. That's a cerebellum. Between the cerebellum and the brainstem, here you, can, you have the fourth ventricle. Over here, 
is the third ventricle. Actually, the thalamus forms the lateral wall of the third ventricle. Connecting the third ventricle and the fourth ventricle, this is the cerebral aqueduct. Uh, okay. okay, the brain also has got um, uh, meninges. So the brain meninges, it's not very visible here, but you have three layers. You have the dura matter, you have the arachnoid matter, and the pia matter. And the uh, choroid plexus is where the CSF is produced, and the cells which produce the CSF is called the ependymal cells. Ependymal cells. That's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs>